This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print the chart of account name on the check voucher or more commonly known as the check stub. Now if you take a look here, you'll see that I have printed out a check in PDF format. This format is a voucher style check. The actual check is located at the top and the two check vouchers are beneath it. Now if you take a look at the check vouchers, you'll see that the expense account called travel expense has been printed on each of the check vouchers. Now usually when you write a check, your company will keep one of these vouchers and send the check along with the other voucher to the company that you wrote the check to. Now the purpose for using this option is to quickly reference which account was used when the check was written. This information is of no particular use to the company that you wrote the check to, but it allows you to view the account that was charged if you file the voucher in your office. So once again, in this example, Joe's Landscaping wrote a check to Dewey Company for $10, and the expense account that was used was travel expenses. So now I'm going to show you how to print the chart of account name on the check voucher. Now the first thing you're going to do is click on the edit menu, then go down to preferences. In the left pane, click the checking option, and then click the company preferences tab. The first option is print account names on voucher. Place the check mark in that box and then click OK. Now that's all you have to do to get the chart of accounts name on the check voucher. Now if you choose not to use this option, this is what the check voucher would look like and we can quickly compare that to what the check voucher will look like when you do choose that option. So this is the chart of accounts being printed on the check voucher and this is what you will see if you do not choose the option. So that's how you print the chart of account names on the check voucher. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, this is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.